the first Minecraft 1.20 snapshot just dropped today, and our very first feature we're gonna take a look at can be found here in this desert village. So that is the camel. If we, aha, here's a camel. So these guys can only be found in the desert villages here. They are not found anywhere else in the world, and we've got a couple of things to cover with them. So they like to sit down and can be pretty lazy and not move when they're sitting down like this. But if you go ahead and hop on them, put a saddle on them, then you can coerce them slowly to get up and start moving. Now, they will walk fairly slowly to begin with, but you can actually get them to sprint by pressing your sprint button. And they also have a unique ability to dash. So let's see if we can go ahead and dash over this. And to do that, all I do is I hold down the space bar and I let go and we jump right over that. So quick, quick little dash, just like that. Pretty nifty. And you can only do that every now and then it does use stamina. Now, the other interesting thing about camels is that you can breed them using cactus. So if I go ahead and feed that guy cactus and feed this guy cactus, I don't know, he's pretty lazy. So, oh, there we go. There we go, we got ourselves a little baby camel and even he's sitting down there. So that is the camels, pretty cool, pretty nifty. But let's move on to some of the other fantastic features that were added in this snapshot. Starting off, we've got all of our different bamboo woods and aren't these just absolutely gorgeous? We've got our standard bamboo block and its stair and slab variant. And then we've got the mosaic block and its stair and slab variant as well. Very nice, very cool, and I'm excited to use them, especially because bamboo farms are so easy to make. I will have lots of bamboo to use in all of my builds, and that is very, very exciting. Now, of course, we also have fences and fence gates, and listen to that sound. They've actually added some different sounds for different wood blocks, so that is very neat. Then, of course, we have all of the last bits and bobs of any wood set, and that is pressure plates and doors trap doors and even buttons. So very glad to see that we have all of those things. And don't those trap doors just look amazing. Absolutely fantastic. So excited to use those. I love the trap doors that have so much air gaps in them. They look fantastic. Now we have our bookshelves. These are the chiseled bookshelves and they look awesome as well. So excited for these. We have the standard Minecraft bookshelves next to them to compare. And the fancy thing about these is that they actually are used to store books. So you see, I can take all of these books off of here and they can store enchanted books, book and quill, whatever you like. And yeah, it's just like that. Very nice. Obviously, if you wanna take the books out, you have to have an empty hand or something that is not a book. Like I think I can take it off, yep, holding the cactus. And like I said, you can put any type of book in here. And unlike the bookshelves, the standard bookshelves of Minecraft, these don't have books on the sides. They have their own little pattern here on the side. That's the side of them. This is the top of them. So you can see, it would make nice floors and nice walls, very pretty. Now, one of my favorite things about the chiseled bookshelf is that it actually interacts with redstone. So if I take those books off of there, it sends a redstone signal and opens up this little door for us. So that is very snazzy and is gonna open up a whole lot of new options for people that like to mess with secret doors and hidden stuff like that. Next, we make it to our hanging signs. Builders are going to be overjoyed about these. They look absolutely fantastic, and they hang in a couple of different varieties. So we have hanging signs, as you can see, for every single type of wood, and they even place in different ways. So the way that it's placed up here with this little bar is if I place it on the side of a block. Next, we have if we place it right underneath a block, it hangs with two chains, just like that, from the block. So I think I could do that here as well, just like that. Fantastic. Then we have this way, which I think is the most beautiful of all, and that's when it's hung on something narrow, like a fence post or the bottom of a sign at an angle here, and that's really cool that they go at angles like that, just like normal signs. So that is fantastic and beautiful, and of course you can go ahead and write on these signs however much you want, just like that, but the text doesn't quite fit as much as a normal one would. So that's where I am full with this is at subscribe is all I can type on there. Whereas with a normal sign, if I was to grab one and put a normal sign here on the ground, I could say subscribe plus 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 plus. 
So you can see that the amount of stuff you can put on each sign is a little bit different, but they do have the same number of rows. Lastly, we make it over here to the crafting recipes for all of these. So here we've got the crafting recipe for bamboo, which will be made from bamboo, and we get our bamboo planks. This is going to give you one bamboo slab for each recipe like this. So a full stack of bamboo will make 16 bamboo planks. Then if we want to make the mosaic bamboo, we take bamboo slabs and we put them on top of each other just like that. And that will give us one bamboo slab for each recipe like that that we make. Then we move on to our hanging sign recipe, which is actually going to give you six signs for one crafting recipe. The crafting recipe is made from any stripped log that you want to use and two chains on the top, just like that to get six signs. Lastly, we have our chiseled bookshelf recipe, which is made with three planks on the top, slabs in the middle, and three planks on the bottom. And these can be mixed and matched however you like. And for each crafting recipe you use, you will get one chiseled bookshelf. The last crafting recipe we have for today is for the bundle. We've got rabbit hide just like this with string in the corners and nothing in the center. This hopefully means that the bundle will be coming in 1.20. The very first thing that I noticed when booting up this creative world was that our creative inventory has been changed. We now have the building blocks, nature blocks, and functional blocks tabs. And our consumable tabs is a combination of the brewing tab and the food tab. We also have the crafting tab and the spawn eggs tab, which is basically our miscellaneous tabs split into two, you know, with a couple of different additions. This also works in the search bar. If we were to search for redstone, the blocks will now appear according to their categories. So we have our building blocks coming first, then we have our nature blocks, and then we have our redstone blocks. So if I was to continue, I have our nature blocks and then our redstone blocks and it will just go in order like that and then down like this as well. So that's the way that it will show with the, with the search bar. They have also made a change to how we will be playing these snapshots. If you want access to all of these features, you actually have to go and add these data packs, which are already preloaded if you got the snapshot as you normally would, but now you have to go ahead and add these to get those experimental features to play around with. Then you'll click done, and create your world and you'll get this experimental little thing right here to let you know that that has experimental things in it and you have to do that when you're actually creating your world. Halloween is just around the corner and I built a massive Halloween mini game in my survival let's play on the Igniter SMP. Click on that video right there on screen to go check it out. It's absolutely fantastic and you won't regret it. I love you guys, y'all are awesome and I'll see you later.